Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. For the video today, I thought I'd bring you along with me while I get ready for surgery. I've spoken a few times in the past about the fact I'm having a hysterectomy for my adenomyosis, so I am pretty excited. It's going to bring me a lot of relief after I get through the surgery and the healing up. I'm excited for that, but obviously I've got to do a few more things to prepare. It's the day before, and what I have to do is pack. I do have some things set aside, so it should be easy enough, but I wanted to show you what I'm bringing. I've got to wash my hair since that's like the last time I'll be able to do it for a bit and a few other things. I know I need to take a rat test and also feel the phone call from the hospital. So I thought I'd bring you along while I prepare and just keep my mind like occupied because even though I'm still feeling excited, I know the nerves are going to kick in eventually. I've been up for a little bit this morning and haven't really done anything of note. I have been rewatching some Pretty Little Liars and wasting time there, but it's good I guess. It's kind of a bit of a comforting show, as stupid as it is, so that might help keep some nerves at bay if I need something to watch later tonight. And I actually just took my last birth control pills ever. For a while now, the past couple months, I've been taking two a day and that's finally stopped. I won't need them anymore. So I guess that's a good thing and something I have to mention. But what I might do now is have some breakfast. I'm kind of eating weird foods at the moment. Before my surgery, I've had to eat low fiber and it's very unusual compared to what I normally eat. Basically, I can't have any whole grains. I can't have pretty much any fruit or vegetables. And that's bulk of what I eat, obviously with some protein as well. So I've had to mix it up. One fruit that I am able to have is stewed apples. So I've made a little pot of that the other day and I'll have some of that now with yogurt. So I'll show you that. So here's breakfast. I did have this yesterday and it kind of felt like I was eating an apple pie without the pastry. Not normally something I would crave or eat, but it was the best of the few options that I had. I've got to say, I've never wanted cereal and fruit more than I do right now, but I'll take what I can get. At least I can eat right now. Tomorrow I'm not going to be able to have any breakfast. So I've just got my apple and some yogurt. This is the Coco Bella. Yeah, it is Coco Bella. Dairy free in the natural. It's pretty nice. So I'm just going to have this, I think, and plan my day. All right, I'm done with breakfast and I've just written up my little to-do list. I think I mentioned everything before. There's not that much to do, but I feel a bit more organized just knowing that it's all written down timing and everything like that now first thing i'm going to do is a rat test i was told i needed to do one 24 hours before going in or the day before so i have that i haven't done one of these in a bit but i know it was important obviously i can't have covid if i'm having surgery you can't have any sort of surgery if you're sick anyway now i did wake up with a little bit of sniffles but i think it's more so from the cold weather so i'm hoping after having a bit of food now, having a shower, and just sort of like being up in the day, I will feel a bit better. I don't think I have COVID, but I have that anxiety taking one of these tests, you know? It would really be just my luck if I managed to avoid this virus for two years and managed to contract it right before my surgery, but I'm thinking surely not, that's not the case, but I still feel nervous if that makes sense. And I think I saw somewhere if I had COVID, I would need to postpone the surgery for eight weeks. So I can't do that, but um, yeah, we're just gonna do this for formality's sake. I have everything I need. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> that was bracing. I have just started my timer though, 15 minutes, and I'm gonna check it when it's done. What a relief and not too surprising but you know like i said i was a bit nervous past the test all right now that that's all done i'm going to give my hair a good wash it really needs it all right i've got a clean mop my hair is all washed and i did a hair mask so i feel pretty good now what i'm going to do is pack i've got about 30 minutes before i need to take that hospital call so i'm just going to put everything in my bag and i thought i'd show you what i have all right, so here's the pile of things that I've been setting aside for the past two days, and I am just gonna pop everything into my suitcase. I was instructed to bring a bag with wheels, so I have my full-size suitcase here. It's not focusing. It's just a regular-sized one. I didn't have a carry-on size, and since they said I needed to bring one with wheels and just one bag, that's all I have. 
but I think since some of the clothes are bulky, it should be fine. I'm just gonna go through everything really quick. I've got my clothes that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. It's just a black velour tracksuit. I figured it should be warm and comfy enough. I've got some pajamas, some singlets. I don't really know how often I'll change clothes or for that matter, how many days I'll be there. I think it's minimum one night, maybe up to four. So I just wanna be prepared. I've got another sort of tracksuit and I think that's just another jacket, t-shirt. So just some very basic comfy clothes, probably more than I need, but just in case it doesn't hurt, I have the space in my bag. Then I've got a whole bunch of like soft bras and also bigger sized underwear, if that makes sense, just so nothing's hurting my incisions. And I also have some fluffy socks. I've got to take them out of the packaging, but actually I might show you this. My friends at work got me a whole bunch of stuff. Just this little pamper hamper. It's so cute. These were in there, just some really cozy socks. So I had to bring those. I might actually take a tangent and show you what else they got me. Apart from the socks, they got me all this stuff. So I've got some body scrub and I think this is like an eye mask with a satin pillow. And how cute my colleague put stickers on everything, um, like labels for when they leave the whole light on. So I might bring that mask as well. And then a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Just got a card and a sheet mask, like skincare sheet mask. Packed me these. I don't actually know if I'll bring those, but I thought it was a very cute gesture. Just some sort of cute drink and yeah, lush bath bombs. So that was a very sweet gesture. I'm gonna pop everything back in aside. I don't actually know when I'll use some of this stuff. I can't have baths for a couple weeks after the surgery. So if I have time, I will really try and have one today, but I don't know if I've got not enough hot water after washing my hair. So we'll have to see if it sort of replenishes, but I'm just gonna leave it all set aside here and get back to packing. So yes, I've got some fuzzy socks. I've got my dressing gown, slippers, and also my plush uterus from I Heart Guts. I figured since I'm getting mine cut out, I better bring one with me just to have. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cute. So I'm gonna be bringing that. And then the rest of the stuff is all kind of toiletries and essentials. So I might start with what's in here. And yes, I did put things in little packing cubes, just to try and keep it organized, since I will probably take out these as and when I need them, and they're all in different sections. So what I have in here is more stationery and entertainment stuff, I guess. Some random essentials. So I've got a little notebook. This is just going to be a journal, I guess. I'm going to note down how I feel and sort of write in here, just a stream of consciousness, I guess. So I can look back on it, and I figured I might be a bit loopy on pain meds and forget some things. So that's the plan. I've got this, I've got some pens and like stationary stuff. Got a magazine. It's just one of those sort of like, I don't know, wellness magazines. I figured it would be nice. It might have some puzzles in there or something. I'm not really sure, but I figured it would be easy to flip through. I've got my Kindle with a whole bunch of books, just more thrillers and sort of like I did get some book talk <laughs> books as well. So I'll give some of those a crack if I'm in the mood to read. I've got plenty on here. Actually, let's have a look. I might show you what I've got. I'm reading Home Before Dark at the moment. I really am going through all of Riley Sager's books. Let's just go home. So here's a little glimpse at everything I've got. Some of these I've read already. Those ones at the bottom. But yeah, some Colleen Hoover and a couple other authors. But yes, I am pretty good to go and that's nicely charged. But I do have, I think, a bag here with all of my charges in. Just for my laptop, my phone, my Kindle, everything like that. So that's set aside, packed up. And obviously I've got my books. So I'm pretty organized on the entertainment front. And I'll probably bring my laptop as well so I have things to watch. And obviously my phone. These are not for entertainment, just purely to keep warm. I wanted them in an easy spot to grab, I guess, because I know I'm gonna be cold in the hospital. Last time I went and was waiting in the waiting room, I was absolutely freezing, so I figured I'd grab some of these. There's five of them, and maybe it will help if I get a bit of back pain as well. These don't get as hot as proper heat packs, but obviously I won't have access to a microwave in the hospital. And then just my glasses case, 
And I've got some masks, pretty pink ones, just because I like them. It's going to make me feel a little bit better than the basic ones. I like wearing these, so I'm sorted on that. And then I've got some toiletries here. So this is just stuff that I'm going to be using quite regularly. I've got lip balm, hand sanitizer, I've got hand cream, tissues, and also baby wipes, just in case I want to freshen up or anything like that. But everything else is stuff that I'll be using quite regularly, I feel. And this is more toiletry stuff if I'm there for a few days. And the back of my hairbrush is quite reflective. So say hi. But uh, yes, I've got a hairbrush. I've got face cream, like moisturizer. This is quite thick. I think it'd be good if my skin is dry and just very simple. I've got dry shampoo. What else do I have? I've got face wash and eye cream and deodorant up the top there as well. And that's it for the toiletries. I've got a toothbrush as well, but obviously I haven't packed that yet. I'll wait until I use it tonight. And then very random, I also have some snacks. I will open that up and show you. Now I'm staying in a private hospital. I have health insurance. I know they're gonna feed me, but I'm vegan and I'm really not sure how filling it will be, the quality of it, or if there's gonna be any protein. So I thought I'd bring things like this. I've got some cans of chickpeas and these are marinated. They taste really nice. I figured that might go well with a meal if it's kind of like bland or just plain. I'm kind of worried in the back of my mind that I'm just gonna be eating salad the whole time and I'm gonna want something a bit more filling. So this should do since obviously I'm not gonna eat any meat or anything like that. I've got some up and goes. These are dairy free, I like them. I've got some complete cookies. I've just got two. I really don't know, again, how long I'll be there for or if I'm gonna touch any of this, but I guess it's better to be prepared than not. And then this is just very random. Some little snacks. These are bluey pizza snacks and they taste like the pizza shapes. I really like them. So that's just some random things. Obviously nothing too healthy. I feel like they should feed me healthy food, I would think. But if it's not to my liking or preference, I've got some things to help get me by as well. Then I've got my cables, which I already mentioned, and then I've just got some medical documents and also some medication that I need while I'm in there as well. But I think that's everything. I hope I've got it all. Um, I guess if I think of anything else, I'll add it in, but I'm pretty confident with everything I have. I'm just gonna reorganize it a bit and put it in my suitcase. All right, it's a little bit after 11.30 and that was when I was meant to get the call from the hospital. So I'm not gonna do anything too in depth or um, possibly miss this call. So what I'm gonna do now is just mix up the drink that I have to have later. If you've done any abdominal surgery, you know this part. Honestly, in my opinion, it's the worst part of any surgery I've ever had. Not the fear of being put to sleep or the pain or anything like that, it's this. And I think last year I might've had lemon lime flavor. This year I thought, I'm just gonna mix it up. I've got orange, I don't know if it will be any better, but I have bad associations with the taste last time. Here's hoping this is the last time I have to do this, at the very least for a little while. Uh, what I'm doing though is prepping the drink. So I need to have two cups. I've got two packets. I'm just gonna mix it all up now and pour myself glasses later. I've boiled my water and I think what I've always heard is having it cold is meant to help. I think last year I added ice or chilled it a little, but this year I want it super cold, hopefully make it easier to drink. And one of my friends just said, add a bit of cordial. I will be doing that I think because I don't wanna to suffer too much drinking this. The hard part is already associated with this, but if I can drink it without wanting to vomit, I think that will help me out a lot. So I think I just need to mix these packets with a cup of water each. It does say warm water, but um, yeah, I've just boiled some water. I don't need a measuring cup. If you've never had one of these drinks before, it obviously has a flavor. I don't know if they make it unflavored, but uh, part of this, I don't know what exactly tastes like salt, um, possibly sodium picosulfate. That's most of it. Magnesium, carbonate hydrate, and citric acid. It's like a little bit fizzy when it goes in. I'm not really sure why, but this stuff definitely gets you ready for surgery. Hello. Yes, that's right. And I'm 
a vegan. I was really paranoid about what I might eat in the hospital. I, I don't know. I'm finished with the science experiment. I don't know why that like foamed up so much, but it's come down a lot. So I'm just gonna add some more water. All right, that smells a little bit better than what I remember last year. Obviously the taste could be another thing, but I've got it mixed up and I think I'm just gonna leave it in the fridge because I need to drink this in an hour. Can't wait. <laughs> now you would have seen, I did receive that call right before I finished off the previous clip and I ended up getting a bit of conflicting information. So I'm glad I was able to talk to someone and check because a couple things I wouldn't say have changed, but are different to what I was expecting. So now after speaking to someone on the phone, I think I need to repack my bag. By sounds of it, she wants me to, the lady that I spoke to on the phone at the hospital said it's better if I bring two smaller bags rather than one suitcase. I don't get it. I think what I might do is, uh, I'm really unsure on how long I'll stay. What I might do is repack some of the more long-term stuff into a different bag and just bring one little bag tomorrow because Here's hoping I'll be able to get out the first morning after one night. I know I'll miss the pups and I'll miss Brendan and just my home environment. So I'm not planning to stay too long if I can help it. And if I am there a couple nights, Brendan will be able to bring me some more stuff. So I've got to repack. I also have to, I think that's all I have to do. I wrote down a couple questions and got some answers about visiting hours so people can see me and things like that. And I also am very glad I got to clarify what vegan meant because I think for some reason they thought I was just vegetarian. I did say in the questionnaire before I like had this call today, I had a questionnaire from the hospital. I said I was vegan. I even put that I was allergic to meat, fish and eggs and dairy in the like allergy section just to like really double down and be sure. Don't feed me that. I thought it was pretty clear and I sort of said on the phone as well when the person brought up, oh, so you're having a vegetarian diet? And I said, no, vegan. Um, she said she needs to speak to a dietitian to make sure they have food. So I don't know what I'm gonna be eating. I think I might need to maybe even ask Brent to bring me in some more stuff, depending on how long I'm there. But obviously I have a few little bits. I don't wanna talk about this part too much, but it is stressing me out a little bit now that I've got to repack and I'm worried if I'm gonna get food or what sort of food I'm gonna have especially since staying at hospital is really expensive. I have health insurance and they are covering almost all of it, which is so good. But you would think for how expensive it is, there would be at least food for everyone. I don't know, but I guess we'll see what happens. Either way, I have an hour to complete a few more things. So I'm gonna find a backpack. I'm gonna find, actually I probably need two backpacks and I need to, think about some foods that I can get Brent to sort me in case I'm there for a few days. And then I need to have lunch because this is gonna be my last meal for a little bit. I've got a bit of food set aside. That should be pretty quick to whip up, but I'm just going to quickly shuffle around my bag before I have that. Here we have the last meal. That's how it's gonna feel. I, after this, have to have clear liquids and then no food and who knows what food at the hospital. So I'm really gonna enjoy this. I've got some leftover rice at the bottom and also crumbled up tofu cooked with some teriyaki sauce. And I know I'm not meant to have much in the way of fruit or vegetables. The list I was given is very restrictive and didn't include avocado, but I looked online and it appears to be okay. So I figured a little bit, it's not gonna kill me or destroy the procedure going ahead. It should be fine. Uh, don't tell my doctor, don't tell him, but I'm very excited to eat this. This is my last food for a little bit. All right, it's after lunch. I also watched another episode of Pretty Little Liars, which I think is what's gonna keep me occupied the rest of the day as well. I just need something stupid so I don't get overworked and stress about the food situation or if someone's gonna tell me something different about the bag that I'm supposed to bring. I guess there's nothing I can do. I am mostly ready. Thank you for sticking with me through this. And all that I have left to do is relax, keep occupied and drink that hideous drink which I think I need to have any minute now. From here, I'm just going to continue to watch my show and enjoy some clear liquids. 
that's all I can have from me here on out. I know I said that was my last meal from now until midnight. I can have any sort of clear liquids. So I think I might have things like tea and for dinner, I'm going to have miso soup. I've got some without any sort of tofu or seaweed or anything like that. So that's what I'll be having. And like I said, just trying to keep my brain off anything stressful and just in a good space. But like I said, I will be leaving you here. So thanks once again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time because next time is going to be my post-op vlog. Hope to see you there.